Are you a dairy producer? Or do you grow grapes, nuts, fruits, or vegetables? We have it all with American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetable West magazines. Subscribe for free now at malcomedia.com to stay current on the freshest news in your industry. Hello, this is Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you from the Kearney Ag Center in Parlier, where the UC Cooperative Extension held an almond replant meeting. Growers gathered here today to hear from several researchers, including Greg Brown, who talked about the factors to consider when replanting an almond orchard. I would say TRD is widespread in prunus after prunus, but it's not everywhere. We don't have a perfect or even highly satisfactory prediction test for TRD. I focused on uh, prunus replant disease, which is a microbial growth suppression that can occur in uh, almond or stone fruit orchards planted after one another. We don't know precisely what, what causes the complex, but we do know some players. And I brought out that uh, Pythium species and uh, Cylinder Carpon, a couple of fungi and fungal-like organisms contribute. Um, and then we talked about how we deal with the whole complex, um, starting with uh, procedures that are available right now. Soil fumigation is what we know the most about and what is the easiest to use. And uh, I reviewed some uh, cost-benefit studies with different fumigant alternatives, uh, mainly chloropicrin and talone soil fumigant combinations. Um, we also reviewed some new technologies of how to use fumigants the most effectively given certain situations. Uh, we find that with prunus replant disease, we don't have to fumigate the entire orchard area or entire strips of rows but rather we can get away with strim uh, fumigating spots where the trees will be planted. And we uh, did some reviewing of current technologies, GPS technologies, hardware and software that make this possible, including uh, selecting your orchard layout according to the GPS mapping software. Um, then later uh, we moved on to non-fumigant approaches to managing this prunus replant disease complex. And uh, we discussed anaerobic soil disinfestation as a non-fumigant method for um, managing the, the replant disease complex. And so far, our results have been encouraging on the performance side. Uh, trees do as well as fumigation for at least the replant disease complex. We don't know about how ASD or anaerobic soil disinfestation will impact nematode populations yet. But uh, uh, on the challenging side, ASD is a rather expensive treatment, both because of the materials required, but also because of the, um, the expense of applying the treatment itself. And so I just mentioned that we'll be looking at how to reduce the costs of ASD while retaining its effectiveness. Learn more about Greg's research in the coming issue of Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.